everybody? Can you guys hear me? See my hands moving? I'm still cleaning up a mess over here. Mess. I've got lots of mess. How's everybody doing? I got me a Sprite. Everybody having a good day? All is well with the Poodle Pack? Hi Tina, hi Debbie, hi Cheryl, hi Oz Schlick. I don't know how to say that word, I hope I didn't butcher it. Hi Joe, hi Tanya, hi Debbie, hi Sheila, hi Janet, hi um, Kendra, and Lynette and rose congratulations rose won the challenge from last well it's a challenge took forever for me to get through but hi weiss so if i didn't say hi hi robin so hopefully joe's got a ginger ale i used to like ginger ale i don't like it so much anymore i don't know why all we need is the magic mirror <laughs> Why do we need a magic mirror? Oh, like on, you mean on Romper Room? Yeah. I used to wait all the time to hear my name on Romper Room, and I would never hear it, and one time I heard my name, and I flipped my crap when I heard it. I was like, oh my god, mom, I said my name, I said my name! <laughs> and they probably meant it in the spelling of S-T-A-C-E-Y, which was like the thing back then. Nobody had my spelling of the name, which was S-T-A-C-Y. It was always E-Y or I-E, which was really weird. Hmm. But yeah. But yeah, so um, if you don't follow me on Facebook or um, or you haven't heard, I woke up, well, it was started like last night or early this morning. And I don't know, I can't, I'm confused because I have been on a weird sleep schedule because I'm all screwed up, but um, anyway. So I was up like up all night last night, but then this morning, like around, I don't know, eight, nine o'clock this morning, all of a sudden I felt like I was so, I just felt normal. I felt normal. I felt better. I had energy and I wasn't in pain and I felt like a normal human being for the first time in so long that I thought something was wrong. I was like, okay, am I about to die and that this is just giving me like the last hurrah and I'm going to feel good for a while and then I'm just going to die. Like it was so weird. And so I cleaned like my entire house and I haven't been able to do that in over six or seven months. And I was just like, it was so bizarre. I just felt so good. And I still do. I went to sleep finally. I finally got tired and went to sleep for like five hours, which is fine for me. And then I got up and I thought, when I went to sleep, I thought, okay, I'm going to wake up and I'm going to feel like crap again. And I'm not going to feel as good as I do. And I woke up feeling even better. I woke up and I, usually when I wake up, I need my pain medicine before I can even get up. Like before I can get out of bed. I just got up. I got up for like the first time in so long. I just got up and I took my pain medicine like an hour later. Didn't matter. I felt even better after I took my pain medicine because that took off the rest of the pain that I was having. And I felt like a normal human being for the first time in so long. Like you have no idea how excited I was. And I've been like, go, go, go. I cooked this big dinner and I cleaned the house. I felt like a normal human being today. Like unbelievably normal. So I don't mean to go on about it, but it's like a miracle. It's insanely crazy because literally just days ago, I wasn't feeling so great. I mean, I was feeling okay considering but I wasn't feeling myself. And I was just telling Secret this. She can attest to it. I said, I said to her, I said, do me a favor. Because I knew my medicine was going to be kicking in. But I didn't think it would be kicking in this soon. But I knew over the next like month or two that my medicine was going to be kicking in. That the doctor gave me for my Crohn's disease. So I said to Secret, I said, because you know, we talk on video chat. And I said, you know, just pay attention to if you notice that I'm starting to get more energetic because I might not notice that initially, but you, you know, since I talk to her all the time, she might notice it more before I would. 
Well, she didn't need to notice it because I noticed it. It was like such a light switch moment today when I was like walking around and I'm like, why am I not hurting? Wait a minute. I'm like, why do I feel like I could run right now? And I haven't been able to run in like a year. Like, why, why do I feel like I am so energetic? I don't get it. So I was hauling ass today. I was cleaning. I spent two hours straight cleaning my kitchen, living room, dining room. I did all the dishes. I um, even did like some vases that I had underneath the sink. I like washed vases. I cleaned out like some old food that was in my cabinet that was expired. I cleaned the fronts of my cabinets. I cleaned the stove. I cleaned, I didn't get to the refrigerator yet, but I wanted to. But then I swept all the floors up here, which I have all wood floors, swept everything, vacuumed the, ru the throw rugs. I dusted my whole living room and then I mopped and did laundry in a two hour time frame, which is impossible for me. Like that would have never in a million years ever happened. That would have taken me two weeks because I would have had to do five minutes here, five minutes there. That would have never happened. So yeah, it's just crazy. So yeah, you could probably tell in my voice that I have a much faster talk and I'm going a lot more energy. Because Chris noticed that. He's like, yeah, you're talking like you used to, where you had more power in your voice. You sound more loud. You sound more energetic. And yeah, so it's such a night and day difference. And the funny thing is, is the doctor that I've been going to, he said to me, he goes, these medicines are either going to work or they're not going to work. He goes, there is not going to be an in-between. Because I said to him, how, how am I going to notice a difference? Like, how am I going to notice a difference? He goes, it's going it's, to, he says, it's pretty miraculous. You're going to be like all of a sudden feeling better. And it, it, he's right. And I don't know if it's all that medicine or not. I'm not sure if it's a combination of the fact that I got my shot, which usually at the, it's, it's been about a, it's been a little over a week, I guess, since I got my shot. So, and usually that's like when it's hit, like kicking in at its peak. So I got my shot. Plus I had some extra steroid pills left and I, I didn't have very many. I had enough for a few days. I took those and I actually finished taking those the other day and I'm sure it has a combination of that, the steroid shot, and then the medicine that he gave me. The steroid pills that I was taking, I was a very low dose because it wasn't like, it was a leftover and I was supposed to be taking like four a day and I was only taking like one and then I took a half. So I didn't have a lot, but I think all of that like totally just did something and I don't know, but holy crap. Anyway, now that we've gone through all that, like as if you wanted to hear all that, um, Tanya, you made dinner for your family for the first time in two months. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, you get it, girl. I love how she says, goddess, I get it. Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Because that's how I felt. I went to Trader Joe's yesterday. I felt okay yesterday. I didn't feel, I felt like, you know, meh, just okay, we're going to go. And it was like, you know, and I, I always get a little tired walking around a grocery store, you know, and that to me was a good day, like feeling like crap and being like, okay, I got to get out of here. I'm getting tired. So like, that was a good day to me at, you know, over the last seven months that I've been really sick like that yesterday was considered a good day and it wasn't even a good day. Like I was really sore, blah, blah, blah. And it was just like all of a sudden though, when, after I got home and settled in and kind of, I, I think I laid down for a couple hours and then got up. And then by this morning, it was crazy. So anyway, I'm happy to feel better. I hope it lasts because if it doesn't, I'm going to be sad. Yeah, I'm sure it is steroid power. I'm sure a lot of it is steroid power. Absolutely. But I've taken steroids before and I always get my shot and it never made me feel like this. And the steroids that I, my shot that I get in my hip for my arthritis does not make me feel this good. It only it takes away the pain in my joints. So the, and the pills that I took, I've taken those before for a month and not feel this good, not felt this good. And I only had enough for a few days and I didn't even have a full dose for the few days. Cause usually I would take four a day, four a day, four a day, four a day, three a day, three a day, three a day, three, a day, three all the way over a month period. I think it starts actually with six a day. Um, and it would go on for a month. Well, I only had six pills. So I took four holes and then I cut the rest in half. So I wasn't taking a full dose. 
I think it's a combo of everything. It's the new medication that I'm on for the Crohn's, plus the steroids, plus the shot. And I think it's just was the right combination. I don't know. Hmm. So I think it, yeah, I hope it lasts and lasts and lasts because <laughs> I'm loving it. Anyway, um, so last night I was printing stuff out and sadly my printer decided to die today. And I was trying to look up a solution and everything I read said that it was not going to be able to be fixed because, you know, like I know how to do all the head cleanings and I know how to tear that thing apart and clean it. But what it's doing, it sounds like from what I read, it's actually a mechanical issue or a internal software is issue with the printer itself. Um, and it's causing these, what it's doing is it's causing like lines. So it's not a printer head cleaning issue because these are perfectly straight lines and they're black and, um, and they're on all the prints that I make, which is fine. I'll use these as like notebook paper. I don't know, but it just kind of annoyed me. And I tried to look cause I'd never had this happen before. My printer's 12 years old. So I looked up and looked up and did some extensive research for hours trying to figure out what was going on. And from everything I saw, anybody else that had this issue, their printer never was able to be fixed. It was, an, it ended up being a, a hardware issue with the with the computer inside of the printer talking to the software in the printer so because I tried to reinstall I tried doing this that everything and nothing worked so my printer's pretty much a goner um, but before it did go I did get some really nice prints I got some nice like fairy and mystical prints which are gonna be for my fairy journal so I just thought I would share them because they're awesome. And I, I made, um, scanned all the copies of my word stickers, like my seven, uh, what are these? Seven Gypsies? No. What's the name of the company? I don't know. Seven Dot Studio. That's it. Word stickers. And I, I printed them onto sticker photo paper so I can just cut them out and stick them. So I did that with a few of these. That was my main goal when I was printing. And then I did some on some matte sticker paper so that I had them in matte. And then I took my Jane Davenport paper and this, um, one of the papers in here, I uh, scanned in so that I can mess around with it. I'm trying to find it, which one it was so you could see. I did this one. And I printed it out on, now this is printed out on cardstock, which of course absorbs more of the color. So it dulls it a little bit. That's why it's not so bright. And then I did it on glossy paper, which of course made it even more vibrant than this. It looks like it's just darker, but it's actually more deeper. Uh, the colors are actually prettier on this photocopy that I made, which I love. Um, and then I did uh, four, I think this is a sticker sheet. I did four like large stickers and then I did a bunch of random sized stickers as well. And I was going to do that with all the pages that I liked so much. Oh, here's more, more words. And then here's some more, um, just graphics. And I was going to do it some more before my printer started to crap out. Um, and then on the page here, this page, I did the same thing. Um, Here it is here. And then I did it in purple. I was able to, I, you know, I adjusted the color. So I was able to do it in purple. I did it in like a teal blue. And I did it in this really cool mint green, like mint and blue, really pretty. And then I did it in like an orangey color. And then of course I just made stickers sticker sheets. And then I printed last two things I printed out were these two. And then my printer started to crap. And I was so upset because let me tell you something. My printer is my life. I've had that printer for 12 years and it still prints beautifully when it wants to print. It gives me problems and I have to go through cleaning after cleaning after cleaning to get it to work. But even, even at 12 years old, this thing prints phenomenally. I mean, obviously it's going to be weird through the camera. You're not going to be able to see it, but the, the quality of this printer is amazing. It's an Epson printer. I've had it for a long time and there's a new Epson printer I want, but of course I'm not going to be able to afford it. And I wish my printer didn't die because that's probably my number one craft tool that I use 
in my whole craft room is my printer. My printer is my most important thing. I would give up anything in my craft room as long as I had my printer because I love printing. I print out so many graphics and I'm always printing out new, new graphics and I've got files and files of graphics. So luckily I do have some, but I'm just annoyed because now that I've got all the word stickers, I can't finish printing them out, which annoys me, but what are you going to do? And you call the police. What happened? Who am I missing? I haven't looked at the chat because I was looking at the paper. What happened? I'm missing something. Oh, I just noticed. Holy crap, Brooke. Yeah, call 911. Are they in your house? Well, obviously, Brooke, call the police. Regardless of whether you think it's not somebody or not, call the police. Because they would rather you be safe than sorry. I've had to call the police before, and it turned out to be nothing, and they're okay with that. It's fine. What do you mean, pranked? Well, that's lovely. Thank you, Brooke. How old are you, two? That's not cool, girl. Seriously? All right. Yeah, that's not cool. So I just deleted her and blocked her because that was really childish and I don't appreciate that. So yeah, that kind of pisses me off. I don't like when people do stuff like that because it's not right. So yeah. Yeah, I just, I just blocked her because I don't appreciate her getting everybody riled up because, you know, we're a community of people who care about each other. It's one thing to joke around, but not to lead somebody on. And we don't know her. She's never been in here before. And I don't appreciate our community because we worry about people. I mean, because we're a close-knit community. We have people that, you know, like I've, I've been sick and other people have been sick. We worry about each other. And I don't, I don't feel that that's a right thing to do because it's not funny at all it's childish and stupid and she was probably a 12 year old so I, I don't know I've never seen her in here before has anybody else I do too Connie I want the new Epson printer it's like the artisan something something I can't remember off the top of my head but I have it saved it's the one that prints 13 inches by 19 inches so that I can print I want it so I can print like on my 12 by 12 papers like so if I get colored or white 12 by 12 pieces I could make my own scrapbook paper Yes, Lonnie, I agree completely, 100%. It was very, very effed up of her to do that. And so that's why she's gone. Because that's scary. Because you, you you know as well as I do, you guys know, we all care about each other and we all like, you know, obviously she was a child. so And she probably just goes into live streams to get attention because she has no life. But whatever. Anyway. So hopefully when I sell my house, I'll be able to get my printer, but it's going to be really hard because I'm like a, my printer is like my addiction and I love to, and I might not print anything for weeks. And then all of a sudden I'll get on a kick like I did yesterday where I'm like, Ooh, I want to print and I'll print like stacks and stacks of things. Cause I have a continual ink system on my printer. So I don't actually have to change cartridges. Anyway, let's get on to today's mixed media mashup. Shall we? We've been chatting for like almost a half hour. Um, I took a piece of, uh, watercolor paper and, um, I, uh, put some clear gesso on it. Doesn't matter. I, yeah, I would have used, I would have used white gesso, but the clear gesso was sitting here. So it doesn't matter. Um, you don't have to have clear gesso. I just used it cause it was here. Um, and I, anyway, it was a nine, uh, what was it? 11 by 14 piece that I cut in two because what I'm going to do is I'm going to do two separate pieces. Um, I'm going to do two separate pieces and what I want to do with these is be able to use these as like the backings for a card 
not the base of a card, like not to fold it in half as the card, but to like use like, uh, like I'm going to make one of the spring cards that we have the challenge going for. And, um, like I could cut a piece out of it and sit it on the page and then put other things on it. So I'm, I want to make like a background, um, that I can like a mixed media background for a card. So that's what I'm going to do. You don't have to do that. Hi, Christine. Hi, Judith. Hi, anybody that I haven't said hi to. Hi, Connie. Yeah, Connie, it has refillable ink. It's the, my continual ink system sits on the side of my printer and it has like a bunch of wells, six different wells filled with ink. And that's how I do it so that I don't have to keep buying cartridges. I just buy the ink and the ink itself costs me $15 and I get all six inks and I just dump them into the wells and it continually gives me ink. I don't have to pay for cartridges and that's the way, I mean, that is the way to go. Seriously, like I pay like $30 a year because I'll get, I'll fill them up twice a year about. Um, and that's even a lot because most people don't print as much as I do, but I'll print like, I'll sit and print like 400 pages in a day. So like, you know what I mean? Like, so I print excessive, whereas other people wouldn't print as much. So they could probably get away with $15 worth of ink for a year. I just have a tendency to print a lot. And now that my scanner was working, I was getting so excited because my scanner wasn't working for a while. Um, I was going to scan all the Jane Davenport papers and print them out in different color schemes since her pages are so colorful and I could change the colors in it. And I was going to do some really cool stuff, but yeah, can't do that. And even if I get the new Epson printer, I can get, um, I can get another continual ink system for under 50 bucks and that, and I still have the inks. It'll still work with the same inks that I've got already which is pretty cool. But the printer I want is $350. So I don't think that's coming anytime soon. <laughs> I've got too many other things to worry about. The one that I want um, is the Epson like 1390, 1340. Crap. Um, if you really want to know a specific, I can find it for you. Let's see. Here, let me see. I'll, I'll tell you what the printer is that I'm going to, the printer I want to get. The printer I have is 12 years old, and it's the printer, um, the, uh, the Epson RX620. It's an all-in-one printer. Um, I liked it at the time because it, it, you could print slides with it which was cool. So if you had like either slides or negatives, which I at the time had a bunch of negatives, but didn't have the pictures to them because they had gotten damaged or lost. So I was, I'm able to scan my negatives and actually make physical pictures that come out. Like you got them at the store. I mean, they're, you know, at like a photo place. So they're really, really cool. Let's see. I'm going to go to the site. And I'm going to show you the printer or I'll tell you what the printer is that I am going to get at some point. <laughs> some point um, because it's like a photo printer and it's yeah it's pretty badass <laughs> all right hurry up there computer Okay, it's the um, the artisan, the Epson artisan, A R T I S A N, fourteen thirty, inkjet printer. That's the one. That's like their best one, and it's the only one they have. Well, and that's not the only one they have, but it's the cheapest one they have that does you know awesome photos and also prints uh, thirteen by nine by nineteen, so you can actually put. 12 by 12 sheets of scrapbook paper in it. So that's why I want that one. So the Artisan 1430. Yeah. So if anybody's interested 
that is a great printer, especially if you want to like, if you want to print things, you know, to the max and have lots of flexibility in what you print. So anyway, um, so you don't have to work on two pages. You can just work on one if you want, but I'm going to work on two pages. And um, yeah, so who's working along with me? Um, let me know if you're working along with me today or if you're just going to be watching. Hi, Sherry. You didn't miss anything. We, we're just getting started now. Awesome. So we got people working along and watching and working along and watching. That sounds cool. I'm going to actually get out some of the paints I want to use um, because they're kind of hidden down here, I think. Let me see. Because I haven't used these in a long time, so I want to use these because the colors are nice and springy. But, um, get all the colors I got. Um, keep them in plastic because it keeps them from drying out. Um, I'm just going to keep those over there. So I'm sure we'll be doing paint. What are we doing, Janet? Or are you asking somebody else? If you have any questions or comments for me specifically, just put it on all caps. This way it'll catch my eye more, more chance of it catching my eye anyway. Yeah, I know. I know people have the HP, and it sends you print, sends you ink in cartridges. That's a good deal too. But I personally don't like HP printers. I like Epson better, um, quality-wise. I've had HP, I've had Canon, I've had uh, you know all those different ones. But once I got an Epson, it was like I was never going to go back. I just love the way Epsons are. But that's just my personal opinion. Hello, Sherry. Yes, I heard from Pat today. She still got a cough. Um, and she also, Mary had put up a, a message in the group um, so that everybody could see that it was from Pat. Um, so she's doing okay. She's just, she's got a really bad cough and she's got a cracked rib from coughing. So she's not feeling well. Um, hopefully she's going to get better soon. I was talking to her in a text message and um, I told her I was going to send her some healing emojis, so I sent her a whole bunch of emojis. And I said that they were they had special healing powers and that they were going to make her better. <laughs> Just to make her laugh, because <laughs> it's got a, I, I know how it feels to be sick and sick and sick and sick and sick and just never, ever get better. <laughs> it sucks. And I'm sure I'll be back at that point at some point in my life anyway. So, and hopefully I'm going to stay better now though. Hopefully. Anyway, are you guys ready? I'm going to pull my first card. Everybody got their paper ready? Because here it comes. Okay, acrylic paint. So let's start with some acrylic paint. That's good because I just got it out too. I think I'm going to do yellow and green. Or maybe, yeah, no. Pink and purple and then yellow and green over here or something. Maybe yellow and orange and green. I don't know. And purple and teal. That's a good idea. I'll do pink, purple, and teal and then yellow, orange, and green over here. This one I haven't even opened yet. I don't usually open them until I use them. And I need a brush. Let's use this one. Oops. 
add a little water. Loosen it up. You should have seen this one before I put it in plastic and put water in it. It was almost dried up. But luckily, I brought it back to life. And what's funny is it was brand new. And it was already drying out. So that's when I started putting them in plastic. And I'll, you know, spray them with some water. So I'm just slapping paint on here. Nothing spectacular. Some more water in here. Keep that puppy flowing. Keep it flowing. Yeah, it's a nice shade of purple. So this one's nice. This one stayed nice because as soon as I had it, I put it in the, I had put it in the, um, put it in the plastic before it had a chance to get kind of goopy. Do that. Ooh, make it a nice mess. Nice mess already. And then some teal. See, and this one, this one was a lot drier, and now it's nice and juicy because, again, I put, I had sprayed them with water and put them in plastic. I need a scrap piece of paper. Where are my scraps at? Actually, I'll use this one as a scrap. I was collaging on this, but I'm going to use it as a scrap to wipe off my brush. because that'll be another collage piece for me. Yeah, it was crazy. I was like singing and cleaning at the same time. I was so excited today. just felt nice to be, I don't know, alert. I feel like a human. Huh. It gave me a crackle effect over where the, the, the clear gesso wasn't dry yet, I guess. All right, I'll put that one up, and then I'm going to put some more water in here. Now, I don't just put plain water. I put water that has a little glycerin and a little alcohol in it so that it doesn't mold, and I use that on also on my uh, watercolors so that they don't mold. So even if I closed up my watercolors when they were wet, they wouldn't mold because I keep a jug underneath here, which i got to fill my bottle anyway, with water. And I put a little bit of alcohol, like a couple tablespoons of al alcohol and a couple tablespoons of glycerin. And that'll be my water that I use so that um, I could put in my spray bottles and stuff like that. I'll put it, sometimes I'll put it in my paint bucket, but I don't really need to put it in my paint bucket because I clean that out so often that it doesn't have a chance to mold. And I'll get a pet and fill my water bottle because I'm going to need it.
Merci. This one will be easier. We're going to start with the yellow. We'll start with some yellow. Do some orange. Yeah. What's that percentage of alcohol? Uh, uh, I don't know. Uh, hold on. I can tell you. Let's see. It is 91%. I don't think it matters too much when it comes to that, honestly. got to be careful with the green because green and orange, they don't like each other, but I think it'll be okay. I could always dry this a little bit. That's probably what I'll do. Let's do that. <laughs> Having full-on conversations and answering myself. <laughs> Where the hell is my thing? There it is. All right, heat gun real quick. And my camera is definitely not picking up how how vibrant these colors are because the orange on the camera looks so dark and it's such a bright almost neon orange and same with the yellow but it's definitely not coming across on camera unfortunately this camera's colors are not the most accurate but it's okay you get the drift like this is a very very bright green and it almost looks very muted on camera and if you guys have ever seen this color, you know how bright it is. What is this, the cut grass or something? This one looks like it needs a little mixing. We need a little mixing stick. Yeah, whenever you're using an opposite on the color wheel or close to an opposite or something that's going to make mud, if you dry it beforehand rather than letting it blend on the paper, you can put the colors down all you want. So, I mean, I can lay this right over the orange. It's not going to turn it brown. Of course, since these are more translucent paints, you can kind of see the orange underneath, but it's not going to turn it brown because they're not mixing and it doesn't look as bad and you can still, you know, get away with it. But if I were to put them wet on wet, they would really turn quite brown and it would become quite ugly. Okay, that's good enough. I just wanted to slap some paint on here. Does anybody else need more time before we move on to the next card? Why does this keep moving? Kind of pretty. I will, I will definitely hold on to that. 
for some flowers and such. All right, let me close all these up really well. Put them in their bags. I put them in, I put three in, and I put them in according to which ones I use the most. Like, I, I usually, when I use the purple and the pink, I use the teal. If I use the green and the orange, I use the, you know, yellow with it. So, I kind of keep them like that. Except, I don't have the brown and the black, so I have to kind of finagle those together. I would gotten these a long time ago, and I hardly ever used them because, of course, I was hoarding them. I think it's been almost, got a good year and a half that I've had these. And I hoard, which I need to stop doing that. Okay. Hi, Jenny. When am I going to do more altered things? Well, we're working on, uh, this weekend we'll be working on the, um, on the altered uh, shelf thing that I got from Sock Rafters that we started last week. We're going to be hopefully finishing that on Friday night. So that should be fun. And then I plan on actually doing um, another altered bottle. Um, I want to do an altered bottle and I ha an altered box um, that I have. So we're going to be doing more of that stuff. Especially now that I'm feeling better. See, I didn't want to start any major projects that took a long time because I kept thinking, well, what if I get sick? And what if I get to the point where I can't finish it? And then it's like going to, you know, take me months to get it finished. And it's going to be stupid to have a part one. And then all of a sudden the part two is three months later. So I, that's why I didn't start anything like that. But if I continue to feel like this, then trust me, you're going to see lots of things. I had to base everything I did on how I felt. So if I only felt like doing some little embellishments that took me no time at all, that's, you know, I could do that because I knew that I can get through the video or the thing in one sitting and I didn't have to do it over time, which could in, in you know, in turn make it so that if I got sick, then I can't finish it. You know what I mean? So I just tried to do the best I could. No, you're not late, Debbie. I just slapped paint on these, and so all you have to do is slap some paint. Acrylic paint was the first card. So just start with some paint. I'm doing two sheets. You don't have to do two sheets. I'm just, that's what I'm doing, because I wanted to do two different color schemes. But you don't have to do that, even though I got a little purple on there, but that's okay. <laughs> Hi, Shirley. All right, I'm going to pick another card unless anybody has any objections. Because, yeah, because I want to. Because I want to. I said so. Okay. Whoa, hello. Okay, collage or decoupage ephemera. So that means anything like paper like. You can use your scraps. You can use book pages, dictionary pages. You can even use a newspaper that you have lying around, a phone book. Anything, it'll add some texture to the background. So any kind of paper that you have will be perfect. So I actually have my scrap box sitting next to me and I am going to dig through it. I'm going to move these out of the way and I'm going to dig through this and find some papers that I think will work for what I'm wanting to do, I guess. Let's see. I'm going to try to stick to some colors that will match like maybe hmm. But I also want to use thinner papers. No. 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 That would work. I don't know if I have thinner. Ooh, this one will look pretty. Mm, I'm not going to use that one, though. It's very thick. There we go. There's some purple bits. I can do. What about orange and yellow green? I might just do a couple colors and then do some book page or something. 
I don't know if I have any. I mean, they don't have to match because you can always go over them with something else. But. Oh, here we go. Some greens. Need to start using up my scraps. I got a lot of them. Too. Okay, well, I got enough. Alright, one won't be very close. There we go. Alright, All right, so for that one, I've got some purples, some pinks. More purples, more pinks. I don't really think I had any teal fit papers, but that's okay. Glue. Good night, Shirley. You just got here. You leaving already? <laughs> I'm going to grab my heat gun to that spot. Good enough. Good enough. So I'm not going to put a lot of paper on. Just to give it a little texture. Thicker, but it'll be all right. Hmm. Let's put some of this polka dot. It has a little bit of uh, metallic polka dots on it. There we go. 
that's that one. Now we will move on to this one, which I gotta dry this again a little bit. Take some of, of this. We'll put it over here where I've got a mess going on with the paint. <laughs> I'm going to be doing some more things to get rid of your scraps soon because I'm starting to accumulate more and more. Um, oh, I just I just seem to always have a lot of scraps around. Oh, I didn't use this pink on there. Maybe I'll go back and throw that on there. So I'm going to be doing some videos on using up some scraps, making little things to, you know, get some use out of them because we all have scraps and mine are piling up. I have two of those tubs that you just saw me pull up looking through. I have two of them full with scraps. So yeah, it's time to get rid of some and use them. And I, some of the prizes I'm giving out in the group for the challenges, I'm going to be giving some of my scraps because it's always fun to get other people's scraps to collage with, in my opinion anyway. I love getting other people's scraps. Because, you know, then you get a taste of different papers that you don't have that you can use. And so some of the prize, some of the things I'll be putting in there are some of my scraps so that other people can collage with them. And you might find colors and patterns that you've never seen before. And you can make little scrap embellishments, which I've done videos on, several, on how to make little scrap monsters and how to make scrap flowers and scrap this and scrap that. Scrap it. So... That is what I'm doing. Let's see what else do I want. I want another piece of this. go over here and then I'm going to take this and put some of this on. Okay. And then get out of the way so I can clean off. I don't know why my glue's getting brown here. I must have hit something on there. I don't know what. I hit something in my blue bucket thing. I don't know. Maybe my paintbrush had a, some little rust on it or something. I don't know. Frustrating. Frustrating. So how are we all doing? Are we still getting the paper put on? Need more time? I'm going to get rid of my scraps out of the way. Put them back in their scrap bucket.
yes, please give this live stream a thumbs up. You can do that just like you can a video. Oh, do you notice my little tattoo? It's not real, obviously. <laughs> it's a, I uh, found it when I was cleaning up. It's, you know, one of those, what do you call it? Temporary tattoos. I have little Monster High temporary tattoos that I had gotten with something. I don't even know what. I'd like a bird punch too, Kendra. Or even a good bird dye. Like one that has the parts where you can put the wing on and stuff. I don't think I have one. But a punch would be cool if they had like some cool punches. What, what tattoo are you going to get, Pixie? Alright, I'm going to hit this with the heat gun, and then I'm going to pick another card. So if you're not ready, let me know so that I know that. Otherwise, I'll be picking a card after I dry this a little bit. You know, you could just draw and cut out a bird, a simple bird. It's very, very, actually very easy to make a bird. Um, if you want me to draw it for you, and then I can, you could, and then I can uh, scan it and send it to you so you can cut, print it out and cut it. You can print it out on colored cardstock or whatever and cut it out. Um, let me know if you, because if, if you have a printer, then you could do that. Otherwise. I can draw it and you can just cut it out and, or uh, I could send it to you and then you can just like copy it. Cause like, if you're just talking about like a simple bird, that's very easy to draw. Michaels never has grab bags. I hear of everybody else getting grab bags, but I can't. I, I, every time I go to my Michaels, which I haven't been in like a year, but whenever I go there, they never have them. <laughs> Kendra says she can't draw a stick person. I can't. I can't draw either, but a bird I can do. They're easy. As long as it's a very simple shape, I can draw it. All right, I'm gonna pick another card, even though it's still a little sticky, but. That's all right. All right, so we did those two. Now we've got texture paste. So, yeah, texture paste. Let's see. What do I want to do? Uh, let's see. I'm going to use some of my Dreamweaver and a stencil. Now, you don't have to use a stencil. You can just put it on, like, spread it with a palette knife just to give some texture. But I like to use a stencil. Let's see what stencil I'm going to use. I should probably just use a shape or something. Maybe I'll do maybe I'll do my circles because I really like this stencil. Maybe I'll do some circles on each one. I don't like circles. I like me some circles. Alright. 
Come on now. Get out of my way. Good enough. Get out of my way. Okay. Well, I'm just going to keep it thin so that it'll dry fast. And I advise you to do the same. Uh, so I'm keeping it very thin so that I can dry it with a heat gun and move on. So that means scrape it and then keep, like, you know, scrape, push it, you know, put it onto your stencil and then scrape it, a lot of it back. So that you only have a thin layer so that it'll dry faster. groovy and plus when you do it thin you don't use a lot of your supply of you know your texture paste so it actually saves you texture paste and still gives you plenty of you know dimension One's done. Just going to use the same stencil. Which side was I using? This side. And if there's parts that you don't like, you can just go and scrape them. Like if there's, you know, like if you didn't get whole circles and you got little half pieces, you can go back and just scrape off the stuff. Put just a few up here. Good enough. Hmm. And then of course, clean your stencil immediately after you do that because otherwise you'll ruin your stencil. <laughs> Baby wipe or just water and rub it. I usually spray some water on there. Clean both sides. Oh, thank you, Joe. That was really sweet. Joe sent me a super chat. Thank you, I appreciate it. I've been doing this, so I have to scroll up a little bit. Hi, Janet. 
see if I missed anything else. I don't think I did. I appreciate that, Joe. That was really sweet. Alright, I need to hit it with the heat gun. Hit these with the heat gun. There we go. I just got <laughs> extra paste all over my bottle. Alright. I'm making a mess. It's craziness. Okay. Which one what? Uh, Janet. What did I say? I don't remember now. <laughs> it says which one. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Guys, yeah, I think they look cool too. Yes, Laura, you can make your own paste. There, I, um, there are recipes galore out there to make your own paste. It's not hard at all. You, Poppin' Picks, you said something about which one or something. And I, I don't know. Oh, well, maybe you weren't talking to me. I don't know. Or, I think you were, though. I think you said Stacy, which one? I, or which one, Stacy? Yeah. Oh, Wish. Are you talking about, wait, who's talking about Wish? I don't know. I don't know. Well, that's good, Debbie. It's supposed to look different. If it looked the same, that wouldn't be mixed media. Everybody should look different than mine. And if you're having, if you don't like it, then give it some time because we still got more steps to go and it'll actually get better. So, so don't be discouraged if you don't like it. And, but don't, definitely don't compare yours to mine because it shouldn't look like mine, honestly. Um, yours should look like yours. <laughs> Oh yes, I can make dirt look good. <laughs> oh yes, let's put it on our face and make it make, make some dirt makeup. <laughs> All right, this is about dry dry enough, I guess. There were at least two of us in here, so was pulling your leg. Oh. Don't pull my leg too hard. I might poop on you. That's what having Crohn's disease is all about. Got to be careful about pulling on legs, lady. You'll get a surprise you don't want. <laughs> so 
So does anybody still need me to wait before I pull a card? My fingers are a mess. Hexy. Why are you yelling my name? Oh, because I said, don't pull my legs out of my poop. <laughs> it's true. It might happen. Was that TMI? Oh, so sorry. <sighs> Thanks, Linda. Me too. Okay, I'll wait a second. No big deal. No big deal. These can use a few more seconds to kind of dry a little bit. I can, while we're waiting a second, I can show you um, all the things that I made over the past week or so. I made all kinds of flowers and doodads. Um, yeah. I made um, these with, you know how, I don't know if you saw my video, but I used, already used baby wipes. Well, with these, um, this one, this one, this one, and this one, I took a regular clean baby wipe and let it dry out. And then I made the flowers and then I sprayed them with water and I took watercolors and touched it to the edges and the color like bloomed. And then I touched some in the middle. So that's how I did they, them. So I'm going to, I plan on doing a video on that as well, but they came out really cool. And then, of course, I did like three layer flowers and two layer flowers and just all kinds of stuff. And then the butterflies, of course. And then these flowers, which I love these ones a lot. I like the circle flowers, different kinds of circle flowers. And then acetate butterflies. couple of those. Yeah, so that's what I've been working on. And then these flat flowers. I'm sorry to hear that, Mary. something to put them in. <laughs> Where are you? Your monster punches? What monster punches? Oh, you mean the little circles I did with the monsters, the napkins? Because they were, they were actually napkins. This is actually a napkin that had a monsters on it. Yeah, I really like that. But that napkin is so cute. Yeah, these are just circle punched out and then I decorated them with napkins, most of them, except for that one. But that's a napkin. That's a napkin, that's a napkin. That one has the ribbon that I made on the back of it, but yeah. I did those two. I really want this punch that I got in Happy Mail. It's a sugar sculpt, and I think it's a punch or a die cut, a die. And then I like the tiny little butterflies and the tiny little flowers. I think I have flowers like this, but I don't have the tiny little butterfly, and I definitely don't have the sugar skull. I need that because I like it, and I want to make these, and they're so cute. And I got one of them, and I'm going to make a magnet. I'm going to put a magnet on the back of it so I can hang it on my little filing cabinet thing. Cause I really like it. Can I post prompts? What do you mean? You want to see the cards that we already pulled? Is that what you mean? I'm confused. I'm confused. First we did acrylic paint, then we did collage or decoupage ephemera, and then we did texture paste. So we did acrylic, ephemera, and texture paste. Thank 
you, Carolyn. That was really sweet. Carolyn sent me a $2 super chat. She's a super chat. She's a super freak. Super freak. She's super freaky. She's a super chat. <laughs> That's funny, Pixie. She says, every time she sees Sugar Skull, she thinks of me. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to pull a card. Next, please. Metallic paints. So now, you can take some metallic paints and go over your areas, which I'm going to do. Um, hmm. I'm going to find some metallic paints that I want to use, like that one, and that one, and that one, and that one, and that red or orange. That's like a pink color. I have an orange somewhere. That's not it. That's more the pink one. I don't know what this is. It's not the orange I want. There it is. Nope, that's not it. Dang it. Oh my goodness. Seriously? I know I have an orange. There it is. Big old mess. I need to come up with a better system to get my these paints out of here because they're not working. The current system has failed. There's a flaw in the system. Goodness. forever. Okay, so those three go there, these three go here, and I'm just going to finger paint these suckers on. I'm just going to go whoop, whoop. Oh, night, Pixie. Good luck on your interview.
Alright, that looks pretty good. Love me some metallic paints. Alright, let's start with the yellow. Hmm. And we will go and do the same basic thing. Painting with my little fingies, my phalanges. Getting my phalanges all dirty. Hi, Anne. How are you doing? Trying to be careful not to invade the orange with the green too much. Painting like a two year old. That's okay. We're allowed to be two years old. Oh, and actually, speaking of two years old, my two year YouTube anniversary came and went. It was, I think, April 7th um, that I've been on YouTube for two years. And I'm almost at 10,000 subscribers. Isn't that crazy? Two years and 10,000. Not bad. I should learn to pay attention more. I never pay attention to my subscriber count. And Secret will say, do you know that you're at such and such? Do you know that you're at such and such? And I was like, oh, I am? Okay. I don't know why I don't pay attention to it. I'm, I'm kind of glad I don't pay attention to it because I guess... Some people obsess over how many subscribers they have, and I kind of don't pay attention to it until it, like, I'll just notice it one day, or somebody will say something. But, yeah, I was excited that it's been two years. That's pretty crazy. Thank you. This one's looking pretty groovy, I have to say. They're both looking groovy, but this one's, like, very cool. Very psychedelic looking. Very bright. I like it. I like it a lot. Hi, Deb. Hi to anybody that I haven't said hi to that came in after I've been chatting and working. Thanks, everybody, for the congratulations. What is the plural of congratulation? Congratulations. Is is? <laughs> I don't know. Congratulation, I. <laughs> Congratulatory. Congratulation. <laughs> All right, that's enough. I need to heat gun this.
Ooh, Seven Acre Studio, you just broke 100 subscribers. Congrats. That's the best feeling. When you, when you get your first 100 subscribers, that's like such an awesome feeling. Good for you. Good night, Sherry. I don't know where I got my circle stencil, but um, I think I got it. I don't know. Um, but it's called, it's by, it's Sheena, by Sheena Douglas, and it's called Groove in 60s. Um, so you could just look here, www.crafterscompanion.com. So you can go there and get it. I think. So, yeah, I love that stencil. Thanks, Linda. Yes, you have been watching me from the beginning. I remember getting your comments way back. That's funny, yeah. All right, I'm going to pick another card unless anybody needs me to, to wait. If you need me to wait, speak now or forever hold your pieces. <laughs> oh, I did, Linda? Oh, that's cool. Awesome. I got, she said I got her into mixed media. How cool. Mixed media is better than drugs. That's for sure. <laughs> All right, I'm picking another card. Add a doily. So you can't, if you don't want to add a doily, you don't have to. I'm going to add, well, shoot. I might not add the doily only because I have so much texture paste and I didn't leave any blank space. But if you have blank space, you can add a doily. You can color it with some paint and then add it or ink it, spray it or something and then add it. You can like cut it up and add it into areas. But unfortunately, I put so much texture paste on that there's nowhere for me to add a doily. So I'm not going to do that, but I'll leave it there in case anybody else wants to do it. I would do it, but it wouldn't go over the texture paste very well. It would end up looking like a mess. Oh, cool, Bev. Bev says I started her on mixed media also. That's so cool. I'm going to pick another card in case you don't want to do the doily like me. Okay, paint and ink sprays. So now you can use your paint and ink sprays, which I might do that. Um, because I would like to spray these a little bit and let it kind of drip around and get all fancy. Let's see. Um, hmm. I have this purple. Which I just got on my other one. Better move it out of the way. This one don't like to spray. I'm 
Why is it not spraying? What's the problem? Here, I'll just do this. Good enough. And I actually like that, just like that. <laughs> now that my hands are all purple, yay, purple hands. Well, that took a turn. Because the cap got all painty, so I started using the cap as a stamp. Interesting. Okay. So, I'm digging that. Happy accidents. Works for me. I'm going to move that over there. Get the other one. And then, let's see. What color... I have, I'm running low on my glimmer mists, and I keep seeing everybody posting that they went to Tuesday morning and got glimmer mists, and I'm like, I really want glimmer mists from Tuesday morning, because that's where I would always get mine from. Whenever I would get glimmer mists, it was always from Tuesday morning, because it was cheap, and they were usually a lot cheaper than... You know, like, for instance, this was $2.49 rather than $6. I don't think I have an orange glimmer mist. Um, I have the green. I don't know if I have a yellow. Oh, but I do have an orange in that Lindy's stuff, I think. Let me see. Yep, I do. Go. We can do some orange, but I better dry the green because otherwise that is not going to look good. So let me hit that with the heat gun. Um, you're asking how I like the Deco Arts glitter sprays. Which glitter sprays are you talking about? Because the only Deco Arts sprays I have are those. Um, oh crap. Um, are they glitter though? Secret would know. Secret, are, they're not glitter sprays, are they? They're just regular sprays. Um, and I don't know where mine are right now, but I'll tell you this, the act, the deco art sprays that I have, I don't like. Wait, they might be in here. Maybe? Yeah, these sprays. The media, oh, shimmer. Okay, so these are shimmer. Some of these are shimmer misters. I don't really like them because the nozzle gets all clogged and then they're like useless. So, like, here's one, and it happens to be yellow, and I'll be surprised if it actually sprays. And I know that, like, you're, you know, you're supposed to clean the whole nozzle out, but even if you do clean the nozzle out, it'll still clog up within a couple of minutes. And it's very frustrating. No, now this is going to make me look like an ass because it's spraying. Well, this is one of the few that are spraying, I should say. Because believe me, I have a bunch of them and they don't spray. The majority of them do not spray. So I don't, I don't really like them. Secret doesn't like them either. Uh, we had talked about this because we don't feel that it's worth our time to have to constantly clean out the nozzle the whole time you're using it.
go. See, like this one, all I gotta do is wipe it off and put it away, and it, it doesn't clog. Neither do my glimmer mists. Very rarely do my glimmer mists ever clog, but the Deco Arts ones do, and I don't like it. And I'm too lazy. I don't want to have to. I don't. I just don't want to have to do all the work of cleaning them out every two minutes. They're great sprays when they work. I'll tell you that. When they do work, they're beautiful. The colors are nice, but mm -mm, I just don't like having to clean the nozzle. And I'm talking not just after you're done using it, but while you're using it. Because you'll put it, you know, spray some, put it down, do something else, spray some, put it down. And by the time you go to grab that same color back, it's already clogged. You got to sit there and clean it all out. It would be different if at the end of your whole day of using it, you had you can clean it out and then it's fine. But no, like secret, isn't that true, right? Secret with the Deco Arts sprays, they're they're just not very poor quality bottle. The sprays themselves, the actual color and the liquid inside is great. It's great colors. I like it. They're vibrant, but the bottles are awful. Or it's the formulation that causes it to, I don't know. I don't know. I just wish they would find a better way to bottle it. Because I've tried to put it in another bottle and it wouldn't spray either. So, I don't know. Your glimmer mist clog all the time? Oh, that's funny. Mine, mine, a couple of mine have clogged, but it's rare. <laughs> Yeah, like Secret said, the color is amazing, but the bottle suck ass. <laughs> yeah, it's probably the formula, but, I mean, it's a great formula, but I just wish I could find another bottle to put them in that it wouldn't clog so much. I guess it may be because it's a very sticky, I don't know, is it a very sticky color? It dries fine, but who knows? Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. All right. These, these two I have to hit with the heat gun. No, Anita, Glimmer Mist is not the same as Alcohol Inks. Alcohol Inks is a whole other, is it like there is no comparison between Alcohol Inks and any kind of spray paints that you're going to use. Alcohol Inks is different. Um, it's alcohol-based pigment, um, dye or ink or whatever, and it's different. Um, you don't spray Alcohol Inks generally. You usually drip them and then use different things to apply them. You, they act differently depending on what you use with them. Yeah, you can use all kinds of things. You can use food coloring to make sprays. You can use paint. I take paint and I put a little alcohol in with it and water because the alcohol, when I spray it, the paint will dry faster because of the alcohol. So I put a little alcohol in water and paint and I make sprays that way. Um, 
yeah, you can make sprays with food coloring, with mica powders, with, you know, with uh, liquid watercolors that you can get, like the cheapy liquid watercolors you can use. You can pretty much do anything. There's tons of videos out there showing you how to make your own sprays. All right, is there anybody that has any objections about me going on to the next card? Yeah, that's true, Janet, because I have them. I have, I'll show you, I've bought, and I've shown these before. I don't know, I can't get this drawer out ever, but I'll grab a handful of these pigments. I have about 60 to 80 of these things with different color shimmery pigments in them. And I get them on eBay under eyeshadows. Pigment, loose pigment, you know, loose because they're loose powder, loose pigment eyeshadows, and you can get them. I got the whole set of like, I think there was like 80 of them for like 20 something dollars, maybe $30. And, you know, I've had them forever and I use them all the time to mix in with things. And there's a lot of cheap ways to do things. You know, you don't need to spend so much money on supplies. There are workarounds for just about everything. I mean, as nice as it is to have nice supplies, I have a few nice supplies that I really enjoy, but you don't need them. Yes, LA Colors, that's a dollar store eyeshadow. There's only a couple of colors though. There's like a, a, like a white, like a pearlescent white. There's like a pink and there's a purple and there might be like a taupe color and a teal color and that's it. But if you go on eBay, you'll find lots more colors of different um, cheap eyeshadow pigments. All right, I am going to, whoops, I'm going to pull another card. Secret wants me to slap her or spank her. Okay, we're going to do that. Okay, and here is, you can add gesso. Now, you, this is where you can add white gesso. I'm not going to do that. I thought I, you know, would have, in the beginning, I thought maybe I would, would have appreciated this card, but not now. So, you can add gesso if you want. So, if, like, you're looking at your project and you don't like it, maybe the colors are too this or that, you don't like it that much, take some gesso, some white gesso, and just go over it lightly, like dry brush it onto your project and it'll kind of dull down the color and it'll kind of make it a little less, you know, too much for you if, if you don't like it. So that's an option if you want to do that. Um, but I'm going to pick another card. What water soluble crayons or markers? This is a good one. So um, anything that's water soluble, even Crayolas are water soluble. But I have like um, some gelatos. So I could take the gelatos and, you know, kind of color and move the color around. Actually, I want to use my sparkly ones. Where are they? There they are. Hmm. My shimmery ones are in here. These are cheapy. I think they were like $10 or less. And they've got a little bit of a metallic to them. And if I put water on them, they will, um, you know, act as like a watercolor.
I'm just going around on my texture paste circles and adding some color. Adding a little something something. that one. Let's do this one now. Um, you can't see it on camera, but mostly it's adding, adding more shimmer to it than anything. That's weird. There's no orange in here. Is an orange? No, but it's a cool gold. That's a cool color. I like that. But it would have been nice if there was an orange. And it's kind of a green. It's a different kind of green, but that's okay. That's not right. Okay, good enough. I'm just about done with this. I think they look cool and I think cut up and put on a card with a sentiment will look really cool. Maybe some flowers. I think it would look cute with a flower. Don't you think? On a card. And that's the background. Like that. I think that would look cool. Definitely. Okay, I'm going to pick another one. Use stamps. Oh, I can use a couple stamps on here. That would be cool. Use stamps. Stumping, stumping. Hmm. I know. I want to use my little checkered pattern. That's what we need. Some black and white to break this up. Although... stays on. Do a few black and white checks. Now you don't have to keep going. Like if you're happy with yours and you're done, then stop. 
You don't have to keep going. It's completely optional. You don't have to keep going just because I am or anybody else is. I'm just adding a little bit of something. Because I don't care. I do what I want. Yeah, this is one of my favorite stamps, this um, diamond harlequin patterny type thing. on here too. some stamping. You should try using white and stamping with white. I have this one. Let's see. I do like this stamp. Yeah, I'm gonna do this. Let me try it anyway. I got this at the Creative Reuse. One of the times I was there, this background stamp. I wonder if I just do some white, if it'll show up enough. Yeah, a little bit. Not much, but a little. Some spots, it's fine. There you go, do some embossing. That's a good idea. Try this over here. There we go. That kind of gives it something. I don't know how much it will show up on here. enough. Mm -hmm. I agree, Elizabeth. The white does make the other colors kind of pop. I didn't put a whole lot on, but just enough. Yeah, you can stamp with metallic ink. I don't think I have an. I don't think I've ever had any metallic ink. That's not true. I do have some. 
I have these little tiny ones. They're called Brilliance, and these are kind of metallic. They're not the greatest, but they work fine. So they're a little metallic. Oh, awesome, Debbie. Embossing work for you? Hmm. Yeah, I don't do nearly enough embossing. And I have embossing powder, and I love to emboss stuff, too. And I don't, I don't do enough of it. I should do more. All right, I'm going to pick another card. Oh, yeah, see, I would love to do gold ink. I don't have gold ink. Add circles. So here you can add circles with, like, and I might do that with some white paint, actually. Um, anything that's circular, you can add circles with it. Um, here we go. I have a paper towel roll that I can cut and then and then use this as a stamp. And white paint. You know what? I'll use the dilutions paint because that's in here. This is a new one too. Here we go. And of course I've got a lot of texture so it's not going to show up perfect circles. But that's okay. If you kind of turn it as you go, it gives it a little better. Let me try the other side. The other side might be cut more even. Yeah. Very cool. Hi, Diane. Yeah, you could totally put a sentiment on this, whatever you want. I'm going to be cutting mine up cards but you don't have to do that obviously I like the white it gives it a little depth I think you feel like you're watching pink Floyd no you're watching pink poodle get it right Debbie <laughs> Uh, I don't care. I'll add and add and add. I don't care. I don't care. To me, more is more. That's my motto. More is more. Not less is more. More is more. I'm going to pick another one. Stencil, which I've already done stenciling, so I'm not going to do stenciling again, but you can if you want, if you haven't done it. Let's pick another one. Watercolor, which I'm not going to do, but you can. Because uh, Watercolor is another way to drip. Like If you don't have ink sprays, you can use watercolor. Um, just spray some watercolor and on the edge as you hold it up and then take fill up your brush with watercolor pigment and then hold it up to the top and it'll start to drip down. So you can get drips that way if you don't have sprays. If you have some cheap watercolors, that'll work. 
oil pastels. You could do oil pastels and like, um, I don't know, rub it into places and smoosh it with your hands if you want. I'm not going to do that. Um, splatter. I will splatter. I want some splatters. I'm trying to figure out what kind of splatters I want. I might do some white splatters or I might do some metallic like gold or silver splatters. Or maybe. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. How about some... Hmm. <gasps> Ooh, I know. What better way to splatter than with some glitter paint? I think I can get away with those two. Maybe the silver. And black. Okay, I've got glitter paints that Miss Janet gave me, which I love these things, and I've never tried this with them, but I'm going to get a little bowl. I'm going to start with the purple one. and It might not show up on camera very much, but it'll show up. I'm just going to put a little bit in there. And Use my water to then mix it. That's some pretty stuff right there. Now where's my little splatter brush? It is. Plenty watery enough. Oh yeah. That's just splattering glitter all over it. Yeah, that was a good idea. Yeah, I don't know if you could see it, but it's splattered glitter. And yeah, it's not picking up. There's too much metallic, but it's like literally splattered just glitter. Just went glitter. And of course, that's not going to go to waste because I've got my, where's that sheet at that I was working on? I've got this here, which I can obviously... And I'll even clean out the bowl and spread it on there. And we don't waste nothing here. Nothing! Okay, so we did some purple. Now we will do some black. Keep that over there. And I'll clean off my splatter brush. All right, and then we'll do black. Oh, this one has a thingy on it. Got stuck. Back here. Okay, let's take a little black. Sorry, it's noisy, I know. Noisy and annoying. Just like me. Wow, the metal really comes up on this when you put water in with it. It's really kind of cool. Needs more water. But like the metal like floats to the top. Can you see that? See all that shine? That's like the metal, the metallic of this paint all floating to the top. Groovy. Where's my brush? There it is. How come I can't do anything without using glitter or splatters or metallics? Like, it's impossible for me to not use metallics and glitter. Um, let me move that 
out of the way a minute. Okay, let me get this out. Let's get the makeup sponge. And we're going to count this on here. I should be doing that on here. Yeah, that looks cool. Oh, I love it. You can't really see, but it looks so glittery. My goodness. It's like literally my favorite. <laughs> What kind of paper are you using? Watercolor paper. This is watercolor paper. This is just a piece of copy paper that I collaged a whole bunch of stuff on. Um, okay. Now I do need to clean this off. I'm making quite the mess over here, I have to say. I want my alcohol to help break this up a little bit. I've got glitter splatters everywhere. That's definitely happening. That's probably going to be really pretty when it dries. Glitter, anyone? Okay. Actually, I might use this again. Am I going to splatter any on there? Orange. Yeah, let's splatter some orange. Let's splatter some orange on this one. Why not? <clears throat> Dropping everything. Lettering myself. No, you can't say no to glitter. That's illegal. Even my splatter brush has all glitter on it. I don't know if you can see it, but it's like all glittery. <laughs> it's prettier now. All right. Let's splatter this. perfect way to get random glitter on your project to use this paint. Fairy paints. Oops. And just put random splotches of <laughs> glitter. Love it. Alright, move that out of the way and put this here and find a brush. And glitter this up. There we go. All right. Jeez Louise. Did I make a mess? 
going to take me a year to clean this up. That's okay. Oh, that's not what needs to be in front of us. That's my scrap. My scrap is starting to look nicer than anything. Okay. Woo, that was a pain in the butt. All right. For any of those who might still want me to pick more, I will pick a couple. Add ink or paint drips. So this is where you could just, like I was just doing, water down some paint and then take it and drip it down your project. You could do that. You can add sparkle. I already did that. <laughs> but if you haven't, have at it. Uh, close your eyes and do some doodling where you just do some like scribbling with a black marker. Make sure your stuff is dry first before you do that. You can add tape, washi tape, duct tape. You can add little elements of it. If you want, I'm done with mine, I think. I'm not going to add any more. Add strips of paper. So these are just things you can do extra if you're stuck and you want to add something else. Add words or a quote. So you can do that at this point if you wanted to finish your piece off. Let's say you weren't going to cut yours up into ATCs or for cards and you want to keep it as your background and now you want to put like something, a focal point so you can, you know, put some flowers on here. Um, like I was showing you before, you could take, you know, some homemade flowers that you make. Um, butterflies and you can like outline them a little bit so they stand out draw stems and then put like words or a quote outline them in black so they kind of stand up against the background you can do stuff like that and then you know or you can cut out like a cool photo from a magazine that with a girl or something and then put like a quote next to it but anything you do put down over top of this, you're going to want to outline it with something so it stands up from the background. Yeah, she, the Imagination Craft Starlight Paints, that's what these are. They're starlight paints, but I call them fairy paints because they are the most glittery, amazing paints that you'll ever find. And I absolutely love them. They're my favorite. And they have lots and lots and lots of colors. <laughs> are you working are you working on the card now, Janet? Is that what you're doing? That's cool. Well, obviously by your name, you're obviously a child who has no respect for anybody else. So, see you later. Bye. Hell. What is it with all of a sudden people coming in and acting like a jackass in the channel? That looks like something a kindergartner did. Well, bye. Have fun. Put the same flower and the butterfly on the blue page. Um, you could do that too, absolutely. Either way, you're going to want to pop it out with something, with a little darkening, darkening of the edges or something, because it's probably, unless you find an area that's kind of less busy on it, like here would be a little less busy, but like right here, it would be a little busy. I'd, I'd want to outline either the butterfly or something in, in something to pop it out. Or you can do that on that or that on that. In person, it looks better here than it does in the camera. In the camera, it actually gets lost even more. But in person, it actually looks great, like with this flower on here. It looks really nice on the camera because the thing looks so much darker on camera. It's actually much brighter in person and on camera they look so different. Oh, 
You have a cool stamp in the depths of your craft room. <laughs> Yeah, you missed a troll, but I caught it. I caught two trolls today. It's like a video game. Let's see how many trolls we can catch. I got two points because I caught two. So two to zero. You guys got none. Haha. <laughs> Instead of catching Pokemons, we're catching trolls. <laughs> Whoever catches the most wins. I win. <laughs> Secret's like, I want one. When you snooze, you lose. <laughs> so, is anybody not done with theirs? I'm totally done. And what I might do is a video. I might make a video tomorrow um, showing you how to make this into a card. So, if you plan on making a card with yours, you might want to wait until you see the video that I do. So, because the video might help you with inspiration. Obviously, you might not need the video, obviously, but if you do, and if you feel like you don't know what I'm going to do with this, then wait for the video, which will be out in a couple days, probably. If I do it tomorrow, I might be able to get it edited and up by tomorrow night or the next day. So Friday, maybe, um, hopefully, because I definitely want to make a card. I haven't done a card on my channel probably ever, and no, I have, but um, I'm not very good at cards, but I figure this is a good way to start because if I do a mixed media card, I do better. Um, if I try to do like one of those simple cards, I can't. I just can't. I'm not a simple person, obviously. Have you ever seen my mixed media? They're all loud, and that's the way I like it. Um, I can do simple mixed media stuff, but it's very hard for me. I like the loud. I like the colors. I like all this interest that fascinates me and it's probably because I have ADD so my brain loves all this chaos call the yellow one citrus yeah this one does look like very citrus and lime citrus and lime that's what it looks like it's very shiny look at that the glare from that metallic paint <laughs> I could practically see my reflection in these <laughs> They're cool. Yeah, that, mine needs to dry too. It's very, very sticky still. But I think I'm going to end the live stream here um, so that I can get some stuff done because now that I've got energy, I'm ready to go, 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 go gadget <laughs> like a crazy person. And yeah, so I'm going to clean up my mess and I still want to vacuum my room tonight and start working on my desk, which is a disaster. I've shown it to Secret. She's seen my secret. <laughs> Secret's seen my secret. My desk is horrible. Not this desk, my other desk. My actual, like, work desk that I used to work at when I worked. <laughs> but it's now a disaster. Good night, everyone. Thank you so much for coming. And I'm so glad that we got to do a mixed media mashup this week because I know that we skipped it like two weeks in a row, I think. And yeah, I've been missing it. And I know a lot of you guys have too. So I hope you guys have a great rest of your week. Um, don't forget if you're not in the group to join the group, look it up on Facebook. Um, it's the pink, pink poodle pack creative playground. And um, yeah, it's a lot of fun. So it's definitely worth it. Thanks everybody for coming and we are going to be doing a pajama party this weekend, likely on Friday. So we'll be finishing up our project from Saw Crafters that we started. That'll be a lot of fun. So I hope you'll be there 10 o'clock Saturday night or Friday night. Sorry, 10 o'clock Friday night, um, 10 o'clock central. So everybody have a great rest of your week. I'll see you guys later. Poodle pack out. Mm -hmm.